In today's video I want to show you how to quickly add wrinkles and cloth details to your 3D model using the magic sculpting cloth brush in Blender. This amazing feature is developed by Pablo Dobarro. Be sure to check him up on Twitter and support him on Patreon. He really deserves it for his amazing work. And now, without further ado, let's just jump into it. At the time of making this video the cloth brush was not available in the official Blender build so you had to get the unofficial one. You had to go to the blender.community website and then navigate to the graphic all section which consists different experimental and unofficial Blender versions. So let's uh, ch choose the experimental tag here. Let's choose the operational system that you're using to save ourselves time searching here. And you can see we have the sculpt cloth brush version available here. Once I left click it, you can download a zip file here. Once you have it, then just unzip it in your system and use the Blender exe file inside to run the experimental version. Once in Blender, I'm going to delete everything and import one of my free Choco4 beds, which is called FreeBed02. By the way, you can download it from choco store and use for your commercial and private projects if you want to. I'm also going to click Add Environment here, which is a very quick add-in that I've created in my previous video. You can check that out as well. And this is our initial mesh. So what you want to do right now is enter the edit mode, press the L key to select the mattress and P to separate it from the main object. I'm going to press tab again to leave the edit mode and left click to select the mattress. So you have to, you need to have your object selected before you enter the sculpting mode. So we can do that by simply enabling the sculpting layout here. And you can see right now we have a little bit different interface. Uh, you can see those dots appearing on my model. And that's because we have the uh, mirroring or symmetry enabled. So I suggest disabling that. And here on the left, we can expand this tab and we have a cloth brush here. So what you can do just straight ahead, use the default settings, left click and drag, and you can see this cool effect appearing, the magic happening. So I would say using the very default settings can already add very cool details to those kinds of models, those big fabric surfaces. Um, if you want to experiment a little bit, I suggest playing around with the inflate brush. When I right click, you can see we have some basic settings like radius, auto smooth. And the radius, by the way, you can increase it or decrease it by zooming in and out to the object. But with the inflate brush, if I left click, you can see we get this very cool effect as there was some air pumping to the cloth from uh, from behind. If I hold control key and left click, we get the negative of this effect. So I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, and you can now start playing around with some of the settings. So we also have a grab brush, which in my opinion is pretty cool. It simply works as you were grabbing and holding the cloth. Uh, what I also like doing is changing the mass and damping settings. So if we reduce the mass of the cloth, it will be much more responsive to our uh, operations. And if we increase the damping, uh, we will in general get more wrinkles from the edits that we are doing. And you can see the cloth also becomes a little bit less responsive. And if I do more rapid moves with my mouse, this kind of looks like uh, we were using a paintbrush or something on a canvas or on a painter's board. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you can see the effect. Another tool you might find useful is the push tool here, which by default doesn't do that much. If you just play around, it kind of looks like it smoothens our wrinkles, 
but we can also use the phase fall of uh, input here as a plane and once we do that you can see this kind of scraper spatula uh, kind of a plane uh, going through our cloth and making it even so we can use this tool to gather the cloth into those areas as you can see here or if I press control we are getting the negative of this effect so we can push the cloth upwards when, uh, in this straight line which I think looks pretty pretty cool and is might be useful in, in some of the scenarios uh, if you're getting too wild with your cloth and you would like to ease things up a little bit you can use the regular brushes from sculpt mode so if you just use the smooth brush and left click it paint all over your model you're basically removing all of the wrinkles um, the cloth brush is right now in still still in the beta version so it generates some bugs from time to time I suggest after using uh, the regular brushes entering and leaving the edit mode just so it kind of resets the mesh I don't know if it works like this but to me it, it does uh, if you have back faces to your 3d models um, after using those brushes you might encounter some bugs but yeah as you can see oh yeah this is the bug I was mentioning um, so yeah if you go a little bit too wild uh, you might have those problems but I'm pretty sure this will be fixed in the final version one more cool feature of the cloth brush is using it together with the sculpting masks so let's do it right now I'm selecting the mask right clicking just to make sure we have the full strength and I'm painting it on the model so what the mask basically does is making the uh, cloth brush not working in the black area which becomes quite handy if you want to for example use the inflate option so if I do it around this area you can see we can kind of gather the cloth around the seams but we are not shrinking this part of geometry to a single line of hundreds of vertices which looks ugly and generates bugs usually so if we look from the side you can see we are getting this nice effect here we can also use the pinch point brush for example to gather the cloth a little bit more but I think the strength is too high so let's reduce it and just make it a bit more subtle like that so yeah the effect is very quick and dirty but I think you get the idea and the features the the sculpting brush the sorry the cloth brush is still in development it's still in the beta version but I really think the results so far are very very promising and we will finally get some amazing cloth editing tools directly in blender so play around with it test it donate and support the developer of this amazing brush and I really hope you like this video Thanks for watching and see you in another one. Bye bye.